our national commitment to green energy. We eagerly await your excellency the acceleration to finalize the utilization of the remaining gathered steam. We are confident that the attraction of independent power producers, the IPPs, such as Kaishan Energy and Sosian Energy, among others, is a clear vindication that Nakuru County has in place an enabling environment for local and international investments in energy generation and other sectors. I'm glad to report that in addition to an enabling environment for investment, we have developed business-friendly policies, among them the single business permit and prompt land application approvals and attendant regulations in an effort to attract more investors in manufacturing and industry. Whereas we recognize and celebrate today's groundbreaking of the construction of the power plant, which is a great milestone towards the government's commitment to increase generation of power to the 5,000 megawatt target, we are also cognizant of the more opportunities that can be derived from steam and bring use beyond the national grid. To this end, the county government of Nakuru, in partnership with GDC, is keen in developing a framework for local and international industrial developers' engagement for the utilization of available resources, and in particular, the county government of Nakuru is desirous to accelerate green industrial development within the county. It recognizes its rich endowment of arable land for production of food, animals and forestry products, and has abundant renewable energy resources, including geothermal, wind, and solar, and recognizes the urgent need to prioritize creation of new and sustainable industry-based jobs to leverage on available resources like geothermal energy and untapped potential in agriculture and agribusiness, among other opportunities and significant land attendant utilities and infra infrastructure is now available for immediate access and development in Nakuru County. It is our belief and vision, Your Excellency, that through such a framework, uh, we will attract more investors, restore and grow our manufacturing sector by leveraging on available resources like geothermal energy and the untapped potential in agriculture and agribusiness, among other opportunities. Um, Your Excellency, Nakuru County, in collaboration with GDC, has set up the Green Industrialization Task Force, the GIT, to spearhead accelerated development of green industries, which will take advantage of the green energy and other resources and infrastructure, our vibrant agricultural production sector, and highly skilled manpower, with a view to supply the cities of Nakuru, Nairobi, and Mombasa, and other major towns and rural areas across the country and supply export markets in the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa, Comesa, region and beyond. So, Your Excellency, I won't say too much more. Um, I have a lot more to say about this great county of Nakuru, but I also realize time may not be on our end. So to uh, achieve our commitments, uh, our governments of, the government of Nakuru County has requested for technical assistance from Power Africa, USAID, who have finalized a feasibility, um, feasibility study to support our ambitious urban solarization program in all of our major towns in Nakuru. With your support, Your Excellency, Nakuru can become the best model city on the utilization of direct use of geothermal energy in Africa. We therefore kindly request full feasibility study on this and your government support on private on public-private partnership investors to utilize this available steam and brine. I will endeavor in exploring bringing on board more partners to fully support making Nakuru a full green county. In conclusion, Your Excellency, we feel proud to be associated with GDC and All Power 22 for this great milestone, not just here in Menengai, but countrywide. We will continue to provide a conducive investment regime for all investors to flourish as we seek to develop Nakuru County. We pledge to work closely with the national government, state corporations, private investors, and individuals on our journey to restore Nakuru as the hub for industrial and agri-business. Asante, Your Excellency. It is now my, 
honor to bring on board or call the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Energy and Petroleum, the Honorable Opio Wandai, to come and speak and invite His Excellency the President. Asante Waziri. Uh, Your Excellency, uh, Dr. William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, Governor Susan Keheka of Nakuru County, uh, Principal Secretary for Energy, uh, Mr. Alex Wachira. stand before you today at this very, very important juncture in the history of the energy sector in the country. Your Excellency, today's event marks, marks a major milestone in the development of our energy infrastructure in the country. Your Excellency, as a ministry, I must appreciate that you have really given us very easy work. Your Excellency, our work as a ministry, our work as a ministry is simply to implement your policies. And your policies, Your Excellency, flow from your very progressive agenda for the country. And therefore, our being here today is part of that process of, of implementing your policy direction, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, this particular power plant whose groundbreaking you have officiated today, this particular power plant by All Power 2022, All Power 22, is going to not only add additional power to the national grid, but is going to go a long way, a long way indeed, in terms of creating an opportunity for investors to come into our country. Your Excellency, investors invariably follow energy. And not just energy, but affordable and reliable energy. And that is what this power plant is going to achieve. <laughs> and especially energy from geothermal resource, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, when investors come, ordinarily, of course, we shall have more opportunities for employment of our young people. Secondly, Your Excellency, what this power plant is going to achieve is to enable us to meet our commitment under the Paris Agreement, under the Paris Agreement of 2015 on climate change, Your Excellency, by enhancing our installed capacity from green energy, Your Excellency, we shall be, of course, working towards achieving our commitment towards uh, global warming mitigation, Your Excellency. Thirdly, Your Excellency, Today, we are not only witnessing the groundbreaking for this power plant, we are also going to witness the signing of an agreement, of an MOU, between Kaishan Group and Kenjen King, Your Excellency. That agreement is going to make it possible for the first time for this country to, to develop a green hydrogen and then ammonia and eventually get fertilizer for our agriculture, Your Excellency. And that will contribute immensely towards the realization of your objective of food security, Your Excellency. And finally, Your Excellency, finally, Your Excellency, let me say this, that as a ministry, we are committed, we are committed to continue to enhance our national grid. And that is a commitment we are very proud that you have your support. We are working closely with other institutions, including Parliament, to create an enabling environment for us to continue to generate more power from more power uh, producers, Your Excellency. Finally, before I, I conclude, Your Excellency, I cannot fail to recognize the immense contribution and support that we have received from the political leadership of Nakuru County led by High Excellency Governor Susan Keika and Waishinua Wabungi. We continue to rely on you for your support, which is invaluable for us to be able to undertake our projects. 
Let me also acknowledge the support we have been able to receive over time from development partners, especially AFDB, AFD, JICA, EIB, and World Bank. I also want to acknowledge the support we have gotten from the KFS, the Kenya Forest Services, who gave us this land. Okay. Last but not least, I want to acknowledge the support from the National Treasure, which is ably represented here by Lawrence Kibet. Thank you very much for coming through for us. The AG's office and all the leaders from our sister uh, entities. I can see there is EPRA here, there is Kenjen, there is KPLC, and there is KTRAC. So without further ado, uh, Your Excellency, it is my pleasure and great honor to invite you to come and address your people. Karibu sana meshmiwa rais. Tusimame, tumkaribishe meshmiwa rais. Karibu sana. Asanteni sana tafadhali tunaweza kuketi chini. Thank you very much. Mheshimiwa Waziri, Mheshimiwa Governor, Katibu wa Mambo ya Kawi, Waheshimiwa Maseneta na Wabunge, viongozi wote ndugu watu wa Nakuru hamjambo. Nakuru hoye. Mimi kwanza nataka nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi hii tumefika hapa Nakuru County kwa mara nyingine tena niwashukuru viongozi na wananchi wa Nakuru kwa ushirikiano wenu na serikali yetu katika mambo ya maendeleo katika sehemu hii ambayo yanahusu Nakuru County na nchi yetu ya Kenya And this morning I am delighted to be with you at this highly significant milestone event here in Menengai, Nakuru County. Our nation is taking a big step forward in our quest to achieve the historic goal of a national electricity power grid that is 100% green by 2030. Aside from this important objective, the commencement of this project to establish a 35 megawatt power plant by All Power 22 highlights our commitment to unlock Kenya's vast geothermal potential to drive economic growth. It is also a clear demonstration of our strength in mobilizing private sector investment to develop critical infrastructure and provide essential services, thereby accelerating economic transformation. So far, we have tapped only 950 megawatts, a small fraction of our geothermal potential of nearly 10,000 megawatts, leaving immense opportunities still untapped. And I want to encourage other investors alongside Keishan, All Power 22, Globlec, Socian, and all the others, that there is still immense opportunity in the geothermal resources of Kenya. We've just touched less than 10 percent. So we have a whole 90 percent to go, and the government of Kenya is ready and willing and prepared to work with the private sector to unlock this potential. We call on the private sector to take full advantage of this and move more decisively and with the necessary speed. Although we are yet to utilize our full geothermal energy potential, Kenya is the sixth largest geothermal producer in the world. More impressively, geothermal energy accounts for over 50 percent of our national power mix, making our nation a global leader in this sector. The completion of the 105 megawatt Menengai project will elevate Kenya's global ranking to fifth overall globally, establishing beyond all contestation that economic growth and clean energy development can go hand in hand. There has been a proposition that clean energy cannot sufficiently drive economic growth because of its cost. 
but we are slowly demonstrating that it is possible to be clean and it is possible to develop. For a long time, the fact that geothermal energy is green, resilient and sustainable has been the basis of our national strategy to expand our investments aimed at decarbonizing the national grid and driving our progress towards net zero. As a global leader in this space, Kenya continues to demonstrate how every action and every nation can achieve sustained, rapid, and transformative growth while remaining true to their climate action commitments. Our achievements today are hardly by chance or miracle. Rather, they are the result of consistent work and investment guided by a vision of national development committed to achieving prosperity while remaining mindful of the Earth's ecological sustainability. Only a few years ago, after independence, Kenya boldly embarked on this necessary path to transformation by investing in renewable energy long before it became a global priority. Today, 73% of our installed capacity is from our renewable resources contributing over 90% of the electricity distributed nationally. The Or Power 22 plant is the third facility within the Menengai 105 megawatt complex. Not far away, just here, we are continuing to expand our geothermal operations in Olkaria, Eburu, and Baringo, where over 75 megawatts have already been proven and will soon be added to the grid. Kenya's Rift Valley is establishing itself as a repository of abundant clean energy resources, a fact that should motivate our industrial and commercial sectors to invest confidently in the significant expansion of domestic manufacturing capacity. And I say this because we did commit ourselves that Nakuru is not only going to be the place where we are generating green energy from geothermal resources, but it is also going to be the industrial uh, county of Kenya. As I committed to the people of Nakuru that we are going to expand the facilities in our industrial city in Naivasha, we have just concluded the purchase by government of an extra 5,000 acres of land that will form the industrial complex here in Naivasha. We have moved step forward as I, I have this conversation with you. Next week, there will be a major conversation on the project that was launched when I visited the United States between Microsoft, G42 of UAE, and Kenya that will, for the first time, establish data centers in Naivasha powered by geothermal and that will cost close to a billion dollars of investment here in Akuru County. This power generation speaks to our industrial capacity, our investment potential, and Nakuru County is going to be the epicenter of these activities. Let me commend that affordable, reliable, and clean energy is fundamental to economic transformation, and every new megawatt brings us closer to eradicating energy poverty while boosting productivity and competitiveness. Our geothermal reserves are a national treasure that must be harnessed efficiently to support inclusive growth. And as we concentrate on generating this energy out of Nakuru County, we are mindful that the people of Nakuru County must benefit from this energy. And it is the reason Waziri and his peers have committed resources uh, that will make it possible for Nakuru County. Two billion shillings have been allocated this year for the last mile connectivity of another 15,000 people in Nakuru County to access power in their homes. We are here to confirm the government's commitment to enhance economic efficiency 
and industrial competitiveness by lowering electricity costs. Additionally, our strategy to provide universal access to clean, affordable, and reliable energy is clearly on course, and geothermal power remains central to these grand efforts. Given the continually rising fossil fuels and the intensifying threat of climate change, investing in renewable energy is efficient, prudent, and sustainable. This is precisely what we are doing with geothermal energy. Upon completion, this plant will generate affordable power at Kenya shillings 8 cents per kilowatt hour, significantly lower than the cost of fuel alternatives including fossil fuel. Investors like All Power 22 exemplify the value of government-private sector collaboration in attracting foreign direct investment and creating employment opportunities for our young people. And it is important for me and instructive for me to say that the investment we've come to launch here today is not funded by the government of Kenya. This is an investment by the private sector. They are going to put their money, 12 billion shillings, into this project, generate energy, and we will buy the energy from them. It is the exemplification of private-public partnership. To unlock the resource we have here, we need the private sector to invest. And with their investment, we get the energy. With their investment, we create jobs. With their investment, we expand industrialization. And therefore, there is a win-win outcome when the private sector and the public sector work together. Many people would have expected us as government to borrow money and come and invest in this facility. That is not the right way to go about it because we do not want to burden the people of Kenya with either additional taxes or additional loans when the private sector can do it much more efficiently. And that is the reason why Socian is a private investment. We are now getting power from there. Uh, Globlek is underway and we are now starting uh, Kenyan here. Through the instrument of power purchase agreement, we create the nexus between public resources, private investment, to unlock the potential for us to get our growth underway. It is also the same principle that we have used in developing the expressway in Nairobi. Private investors invested in the expressway we are using that facility through tolling, they are collecting their investment. It is also the same principle that we are using on our transmission lines. I am very happy that for the first time in Kenya today, we will have a transmission line from here in Menengai that will go to Olkalao, that will go to Nanyuki, supply power to that region all the way to Meru, they will for the first time access geothermal power from Menengai. That investment is being made by the private sector. The Adani group are investing in the transmission line, their money, 95 billion. We would have otherwise gone to borrow that money, burden the people of Kenya. This is now a private sector investment, the same way Keshan here is a private sector investment, the same way Socian is a private sector investment. We will pay for that uh, transmission line using a, a, a willing charge that has been negotiated. And it is important for us as a nation to appreciate that a partnership between public and the private sector gives us a win-win outcome where we can deliver public services and public goods using the efficiency of the private sector, investment of the private sector, as a way of supporting overall development in our country. I urge the Geothermal Development Corporation to develop and sustain 
a high capacity to offer effective leadership in driving Kenya's energy transition. Although geothermal power and geothermal projects are complex, the GDC must remain capable of facilitating swift progress with respect to Menengai and other projects by utilizing local labor as well as technical skills and expertise to promote self-reliance and national pride. Additionally, the GDC must intensify innovative exploration, such as the use of geothermal heat for industrial processes and greenhouse farming. The development of the proposed integrated industrial park here in Menengai. I am listening to Governor here that uh, you are working round the clock to make sure that we have a conducive environment that will make significant contribution. That Menengai Industrial Park, which I am looking forward to working with the county government to unlock its potential so that we can use this energy to promote more investment, more industrial invest investment, so that we can create more jobs and export more products from this, uh, from this county. And it will make a significant contribution to the sustainability and global competitiveness of Kenyan manufacturing and Nakuru County and our country um, as well. I take this opportunity to congratulate All Power 22 on the progress of your important investment and to express their appreciation for your strong vote of confidence in Kenya's economy. It takes a lot of confidence. It takes a lot of belief. You know, sometimes it is strange that investors believe in Kenya more than we do as Kenyans. This uh, Kenyan, a company from America, has built confidence in our country. They are putting their money, 12 billion shillings, in this project because they believe in Kenya. I want to ask us, as the people of Kenya, to believe in ourselves and believe in our country. As a valued partner in our economic transformation, the government is committed to facilitate all powers efforts to ensure that your investment succeeds in supporting our national development. And as you requested, you have my support, the support of the government of Kenya, as you look at other opportunities. Because as I have said, we have just scratched. We have an additional 9,000 megawatts that is untapped. We are working with GDC to make sure that we unlock this, uh, this potential. Um, we are in the process of having a conversation with FEX in Bank. I have informed the governor of Nakuru so that we can build the infrastructure on the 5,000 acres we have acquired so that we can begin to interest more manufacturing capabilities into Nakuru County, into Naivasha um, Industrial Park, so that we can create more value, we can create more products, we can hire more young people, and we can make our country and county much more competitive. I am very proud of this moment, that we are making steps as a country in the, in the right direction. We are dealing with the challenge of climate change, and I am very excited that today we will be signing the agreement that will produce, in 24 months, that will produce the first hydrogen, the first ammonia, and the first fertilizer for, for our farmers from geothermal power here in Kenya. I am very happy that uh, Kaishan has announced that uh, they want to make it a reality, that in 24 months, did you say 24 months? Yes, 24. 24 months we will produce the first grain of ammonia fertilizer for our farmers here in Kenya. And uh, progressively, we will reduce imports of fertilizer into Kenya. And progressively, we will use hydrogen for our fuel. We don't have to import diesel and all the others progressively. And progressively, we will also be turning, and I'm, I'm happy that the Minister for uh, Roads is also in our midst, that we will be looking at reducing the number of vehicles that use fossil fuel and we will be using more of our generated energy from geothermal and other renewable resources to power our transport sector, our cars, e-mobility e and all the other interventions that we are working on. 
So kwa watu wa Nakuru nataka niseme asante sana kwa kutukaribisha hapa leo. Nataka niwahakikishie yale mambo yote tumepangana pamoja na nyinyi tutayasukuma isonge mbele. Hii program ambayo ni uhusiano kati ya private sector na serikali ni ya muhimu. Um, najua bado mnangojea eh, kwamba kutoka hapa kwenda Nairobi bado ni shida kubwa sana kwa sababu ya barabara imejaa msongamano wa magari kwa sababu eh, magari imezidi mimi nataka niwahakikishie ile kampuni ya Ufaransa ambayo ilikuwa imepatiwa kandarasi ama ilikuwa imetoa PIP yake kutengeneza hiyo barabara wamekwama na sasa tumewaambia waondoke ili tuweze kutafuta kampuni nyingine kwa sababu barabara kati ya Nakuru hapa Mausamit na Nairobi lazima tuifanye iwe dual carriageway ndio watu wa Nakuru na watu wa Western Kenya waweze kwenda nyumbani bila ya matatizo ya jam ambayo sasa tunaona imezidi katika hiyo barabara mimi nitashirikiana na viongozi wenu katika kutatua jambo hilo tuweze kutafuta kampuni mpya ambayo itatusaidia kupeleka Um, kazi yetu ya maendeleo mbele. Kwa hivyo asanteni sana. Nimeshukuru sana kufika hapa siku ya leo na mimi nataka niwaulize sote tuweze kushirikiana na kufanya kazi kwa pamoja. Tena when are we signing the agreement? Now. Haya, mimi nataka kuona hiyo agreement kwa sababu nangojea fertilizer mimi ni mkulima. Nataka hawa wakulima wengi wanangojea hii fertilizer kutoka Jiotamo litafika 24 months tutangojea na tunahesabu kutoka leo. Very good. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Thank you very much. So at this point allow me to uh, invite Dr. Yang Tang and engineer Peter Njenga who